uh, image processing technique to detect the text. Based on the text detected, uh, we we'll refresh these braille's uh, to the uh, exact position. So we use the, the standard 3 by 2 matrix of braille. So uh, this will give a tactile experience to the uh, visually impaired students. So we've used a stepper motor to control the disc and uh, we've used the uh, 2003A uh, ULN module to uh, control the stepper motor. And uh, as we see, uh, the brain will be refreshed based on the text detected uh, through the camera. We have created a drone connected to a microcontroller and inserted with a battery. It helps us to monitor the crops around us. The webcam is live telecasting the things. The CPU lively records it as well as works on it and processes it to find whether the plant has a defect or not. Parkhaus is about autonomous wheelchair. The edge device will be doing the computation process. So those information will be visualized in the touch display. So the mapping information of the entire environment to the indoor will be available on the display. This is a LiDAR sensor. It will do the obstacle avoidance. So the user who is sitting in the wheelchair, by touching the display, they can give the location where they need to move in the indoor surface. This is the EG sensor, which is going to control the whole prosthetic hand. And here we have the main electrode, where the whole controlling of the brain is going to happen. And here we have a reference electrode, where the brain wave signals have been generated. This is the prosthetic hand, where we have four motors, and each motor is controlled at each finger. Here is the total movement happening, just by thinking. So these are the different wave zones generated through the brain. Our brain will be fluctuating each time when you think about doing a particular action. So these waves going, are going to fluctuate up and down. These waves, we have been controlling the robotic arm totally. This is the client section. We have placed the two wire sensors which are used to call the nurse. It is a emergency button and it is a housekeeping button. And these two are the indicator lamps. It gives reply to the patient whenever the nurse uh, answers the call. And these are the three sensors which are used to transfer the real-time data of the patient to the nurse dashboard. When he places his hand one of the two designated person, buttons, then it will give an alerting sound to the speakers. Emergency at room one. This is also designed for both indoor and outdoor. In indoor, we can use joystick for the movement. In outdoor, it is used by the navigation, voice modulations by the Google, longitudes and latitudes. In the circuit, there are three main sections. One is power section, another one is a controller section, and another one is here. You can see the motor drivers. When the wheelchair is hit by another, uh, another vehicle accidentally, this vibration sensor sends the vibrations, and this sensor data will be given to the uh, microcontroller and this microcontroller will send the uh, crash detection alert message to the um, nearby relatives or friends and family members. We have designed this underwater ROV. So this will go underwater and inspect the things with the help of the high definition camera and the sonar that has been placed over here. This ROV will go in uh, six de degrees of freedom, forward and downward motion, sideways, front and back and 360 degree roll and 360 degree pitch and a 360 degree of clock. The main function of this app is to incorporate a suggestion model for the best crop that can be grown in a particular land. This is the custom made database which we made by collecting information and data from TNAU, ICR and Trishwit Kendra. In the Crop Science Pro application, it works on this database and the user inputs their data. Once all the 10 parameters have been inputted, then it will ask you what is the threshold percentage you need for the crop detection. You can see the crops with a success rate above 65% are grapes with a 68% of success rate, chili with a 66 and a field bean with 65%. As soon as he presses the crop recommendation feature, he will be having two options. If he presses on most suitable, wheat has been suggested by the application and the parameters on which this wheat crop has been selected are mentioned below. This is a vertical tower setup and here we have our vertical tower system with uh, spinach plants. We have 16 different plants and this is a grow lights and uh, here we have our automation system and uh, this is a reservoir tank and uh, here we have five different solutions. Let's say we have a user, he will monitor the system automatically from anywhere in the world and all he has to do is log into our system and all the essential parameters will be displayed on the screen and we have like a sensor uh, 
screen and once he goes into, into it and all the basic parameters can be viewed in the form of a graph basis like every live values get updated automatically and you can have like a 24 bar 7 recording of it in this dashboard